Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my travel makeup and my makeup brushes. Um, so yeah, before I get started, um, I just want to do a little disclaimer. Not everything that I show you is going to be cruelty free and I'm not like proud of that obviously, but it's just that a lot of these products I had before I went cruelty free, so I'm just trying to use them up and I think it's a bit of a waste if I just throw them away. And no one's really going to want, like, a half-used concealer, so... Yeah, anyways, um, let's just get started. So, I keep my travel makeup in this bag here. It's from, like, Singapore Airlines, and I got this from my mum. I don't know, I think someone gave it to her. But yeah, I've never <laughs> flown Singapore Airlines or anything, but... This is just a bag from them. And... If you guys didn't know, my parents, like, I separated, so every weekend I actually go to my mom's house, so I've gotten pretty good at this travel makeup sort of thing, and yeah, this is what I've been taking with me probably for a, at least a month, I'd say, like, so yeah, um, these are products I really do like, um, obviously if they're not cruelty free, I wouldn't purchase them again, I probably wouldn't recommend them either, but yeah, these are just products that I use when I travel, which isn't really that far, it's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'll just get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is this Garnier BB Cream. So basically I mix this with my moisturizer, yeah, just to get like a really nice dewy finish like I'm wearing today. Um, my skin is drier um, on the dry side, <laughs> especially during winter, so yeah, I just really like the combination of this with the moisturizer. I don't think this is cruelty free, and to be honest, um, I don't actually like it that much because I feel like it can get sort of, I don't know how to explain it, but when you mix it and then you blend it in like with a brush, it can get really like sort of powdery, not powdery, but there's like just little bits of like, it just starts to dry up and it clumps and it's just not cute. So yeah, um, I wouldn't get this again anyway. If it's not cruelty free, I wouldn't buy it anyway. But um, this is a powder. This is like, um, hit severe pan. So I'm about to use it up. Um, I got this on AliExpress probably like a year ago now. And yeah, it was supposed to be like a MAC tube, but it's like fake obviously because it was like $3. So yeah, um, I definitely wouldn't buy it again. I don't even know what's in it to be honest. It's kind of dodgy, but it's, I mean, it hasn't like broken me out or anything and it still works. So I just, I use it. Um, the packaging is really, like, lightweight, so that's a good thing, I guess, when you're traveling. But, yeah, I wouldn't recommend this, and I don't recommend people buying, like, makeup off websites like AliExpress and stuff, if you don't know, like, the actual brand of it. Um, and then I have a bronzer. This is the Rimmel Sun Bronze in shade 022. Um, yeah, I got this a while back. It's actually a decent bronzer. Like, I like the color of it. And it goes on pretty nice, but the packaging is really cheap, and knowing me, like, it's already broken by now, so I've had to tape this lid thing. But, yeah, um, this is nice, but I don't think Rimmel is cruelty free either, so, yeah, I wouldn't be getting this again. Um, and then I have a blush by e.l.f. It's not really a blush, like, if you guys can see, it's pretty much just, like, straight shimmer. So it's more of, like, a pink toned highlight in that sense but um I did just hit pan today I don't know if you guys can see but there's a little bit of pan here and yeah um it's okay it's not very pigmented so you do have to like build heaps on but it's really nice just like as a blush slash highlight so it's kind of like a two in one so yeah I do like this and I don't think I would buy it again just because um it's not that great but I do um still use it in the meantime Okay, and then next I have two concealers. I know two is probably a bit high maintenance or whatever, but um, they both like do different things. So this is like a highlighting one. This is from e.l.f. This is uh, just the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in the shade Rosy Beige. So it's really, it's quite light colour. And by itself, it would be too light. And also the coverage isn't great. So I use the Fit Me one by Maybelline. Um, this is in the shade 10 Light. And I was really, like, so, um, disappointed when I found out that Maybelline wasn't cruelty-free. 
I mean, they on the website they say they are, but they sell their products in China, so they still like test on animals anyway. But yeah, this is a good concealer. Um, so it just kind of sucks that it's not cruelty free. And yeah, <laughs> anyways, um, that's the combo that I use on my under eyes. I don't really have any severe like acne or pimples, so I don't um need a swap concealer. And then. The one palette that I do bring with me is the Nudes palette. Again, it's by Maybelline, and I know, I know, it's not really me. But anyways, um, yeah, I actually like this palette. I know a lot of people don't like it, um, but I've never tried, like, well, I think I have, like, one high-end palette. So this is pretty good, to be honest, in comparison. I mean, for the price, you get 12, and it's just, like, a good all-in-one. Um, I use these, that one and that one for my eyebrows. And then these two can be like highlights, and then that's all. The black shade is also really good as like a, um, if you just want to do eyeliner, and also that one's like a good contour shade. I realize I'm talking this palette up, but I don't recommend this, because Maybelline's not cruelty free. Okay, um, and then the last two things I have are this lipstick by Laneige, and it's like a Korean brand, and that's how much I have left of it, so it's nearly gone. Um, I don't know if it's cruelty free or not. But I still probably wouldn't purchase this. I actually got it from my mum because she didn't want it anymore. And yeah, it's just like super pinky. You know, like that Korean, typical Korean beauty lip trend, I guess. And it's got like little shimmers in it. So I'm not a huge fan of this, but I just use it for a bit of colour. And then the last product I have in my makeup bag is this um, e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. This is definitely not a liquid lipstick. In fact, it is like a lip gloss. I think it's supposed to be a dupe of the Stila. I don't know what it's called, but like they have similar packaging. It's like a windy tip thing and you just click it. And it smells pretty minty as well. Um, I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, I like the colour of this. Oh, it's in the shade... Did I say which shade? Yeah, it's in the shade Brownie Point, so it's like a brownie sort of new colour and yeah I, I just use it on top all by itself if I just want a little bit of colour. So yeah that's what's in my makeup bag and now I'm going to show you what brushes I use. Okay so brushes um, I carry them in a separate bag just because I don't want to mix them with my makeup and also it doesn't really fit. This is just a random little pouch that I got from somewhere. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it just like, it has a zip and it just opens up like that. The inside is like sort of this, I don't know how to explain, but it's not, um, it's not like canvas. It's kind of like waterproof, so it's really good because I used to use this other one and it got really dirty. <laughs> so yeah, um, these are all the brushes I take with me and I'm going to go through them one by one and tell you what I use them for. Oh, <laughs> okay, so the first one is just this kabuki brush and this does look really um, close to the Real Techniques ones but it's actually not it's just a dupe I got from eBay yeah, either eBay or Aliexpress <laughs> I buy all my brushes online um, on those two websites because they're just the most affordable and reliable I guess um, yeah this came in a set of four uh, it's really good for just foundation, concealer, you know that sort of stuff and yeah I do like this and then the next one I have is this little fluffy kind of like powder brush. Yeah, I use it to set my under eyes and also just to like set my eyelid primer. Um, so yeah, I do enjoy that. And then the next one I have is this little sort of wooden, I guess. It looks kind of like eco tools, but again, all my brushes are like non-branded because I just get them from eBay. And yeah, it's like this for bronzer. It's actually falling apart. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's little hairs that are like coming out and stuff. So yeah, this isn't the best quality, but for the price, um, I can't really complain. And I still use it, and I'm probably going to use it till it sheds <laughs> fully. And then another one I have is this sort of, I think this is supposed to be a contour brush, but I use it for blush. As you guys can see, it's like pink stained. It's getting... Um, pretty dirty. I need to clean them. And this is again from the same set as that first Kabuki. And then I also have a spoolie brush. And this is just to comb out um, my eyebrows. And then I have another little, like, it's sort of like a shader brush. And I actually use this to fill in my eyebrows. And I also do eyeliner with it as well. 
And then I have a just a fluffy brush. It says um, Urban Decay on it, but it's actually not. It's from a palette that I got. Um, that was a fake. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a fake as well. And this just has a nice fluffy crease brush end and um, like another shading one for packing on eyeshadow. By the way, guys, I do not recommend um, fake makeup, but I think with brushes, it doesn't really make a difference. <laughs> and then you've got a little... Uh, like this, I just use this for highlighting my inner corners. Um, it's from the same four piece set again. And yeah, that is it guys for my travel makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.